in the cow shed. In the, cow, the cow shed, and now yes. our dad used to mend the he mend the shoes in the cow shed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, it was very good. Charles and Earls and, you know, yeah. on a Sunday morning. Yeah. Uh, I remember that uh, the girls used to go to Mass at St. Fidelis's and we would uh, run the other way. We'd run west up Gazira Street, down and over the creek, into the mission house, and we'd be back, and we'd be back in 20 minutes because they never had a, they didn't preach a sermon. <laughs> <laughs> but we always won. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, so uh, well, for one time we used to go uh, on, on the bus to, to Mass mm -hmm. and the Bell Street bus. They used to run a special bus yeah. for people going to Mass at mm -hmm. St Paul's on a Sunday morning. And then um, if we didn't go to St Paul's, we'd go to the, the mission house. Mm -hmm. In North, Essendon, in North Essendon, mm. well, you know, across the creek, <laughs> and uh, and then another time we, when we knocked off going there, um, uh, there was mass at Westbury, yeah, right. and yeah. Norm, Norm Tompkinson yeah. with his furniture van, yeah. Yeah. we get in the, the, the furniture van. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To go to Mass, we're spring. And remember the two-story house that used to be on the corner of York Street? The, yeah, big, the, house, the big house. The big house. The big house. Yeah. Arthur mm -hmm. and I were pinching quinces out of it one day, and mm -hmm. out comes the bloke, and he chased us, and we ran all the way to Trestle Bridge, <laughs> <laughs> through, through, the, through the aerodrome. There's only a barbed wire fence around there at the aerodrome in those days. <laughs> under the fence and off, off again, he was still chasing us and he chased us all the way to Trestles Bridge. <laughs> he, he didn't catch us. Yeah, that's and it, that's what sort of training we got for long distance running. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you had, a, you, you, you had a bag of quinces each, did you? And, and he was, yeah, he was just on the, yeah, had you on the run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. When did you start your running? Ch um, Charlie? Uh, North Melbourne's College. Yeah. They had the mile race for the whole school. Yeah. And uh, I think it was only in Royal Park somewhere. And they, the handicapper gave the young kids a big start. And then mm -hmm. they got back to the grades till they got to sub and then Inter. And I was in sub at the time. And um, I said to one of my mates, I said, I don't think you could win this, but I think I can if you help me. And so I said, when they say go, run as fast as you can through the little ones, just zigzag through them so as I can get a path through. <laughs> he had me through them in no time. <laughs> no one caught me, I won the race. So I got a ride out for the mile handicap. <laughs> it was a good one. But from then on, uh, well, we went bike riding. I, never had, uh, I only had a straight 81 gear. <laughs> Going up and down hills was a bit hard for me in those days. So I said to Arthur, why don't we go and run? So we did. And he was a good runner, Arthur. Yeah. He was pretty good for me too because I remember running around South Melbourne. We went around the, 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 uh, the big park and uh, he timed his run. To, 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 so when he came to do that, he had to run two laps at the finish. To do the second lap, he was waiting for me there and carted me around the last. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, did, I didn't win it, but I ran the place that day. Yeah. And did you used to train together as brothers? Um, did you go, Did you head, head off for regular well, runs? Yeah, the cave with football around there, just over the road. I remember we used to run about 18 laps on Tuesday, yeah. Thursday nights. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When it was the Cam Harriers. Yeah. Yeah. And well, you yeah. Were, uh, I wasn't in the Harriers. No, uh, well, yeah. after the night, when the Harry, Cam Harriers. Yeah. And uh, they used to train at the, during the week at the, at the Cam Wig football ground here. Yeah. 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 Well, they need to run 18 laps. <laughs> I remember you coming into one handicap race and then finished up alongside. Mm -hmm. McDonald Reserve, and you were, you, 
nearing the end of the race, of course, and he was slowing down a bit. A couple of shooters says, hello, Jack. <laughs> oh, you better say it's... Spark you on. I don't know who they were. <laughs> no, but, uh, no I, I won a handicap race around the, around the jail. Yeah. Yeah. Three mile. Oh, yeah. So it started at the club, uh, yeah. the club rooms near the, where the... Not there now, but... Yeah. There's a, uh, the old tennis, the old tennis. Table tennis. Table, uh, tennis club. Yeah. Went up mm. uh, alongside the jail to Sydney Road, and then down Champ Street, yeah. and then Murray Road, right round to Elizabeth Street, along yeah. Elizabeth Street to Bell Street, mm. up Bell Street to finish at the uh, yeah. at the club room. That's yeah. a three mile. Yeah. Oh, it was a handicap run, and yeah. I, I bolted in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So were you were you off scratch? No, that, no, that? no. I got the handicap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gave me too good a handicap. Oh yeah. 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 I remember Gertie coming late one night, climbing in the window, beat out, <laughs> and my went bed was under the window, and I'm asleep, of course. And she comes in, gets through the window, falls on top of me, <laughs> frightens hell out of me. <laughs> She's trying to keep it from mum and dad, but don't you come and open Yeah. <laughs> she was very Tommy Brophy. She was very Tommy Brophy. Yeah, keep it over at the centre, but uh, and remember for over the wheels, we used to all sing around the piano over Sunday night. Yeah. Then, so was that a, some, a regular thing for Sunday night? Sunday night. Sunday night, Sunday night. Sunday night. Sunday. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just stand at, <laughs> yeah. What were some of the favourite songs that you remember? Well, you hit this on there. I was talking to an Irish lady the other day when having community singing and I was singing it's a long way to tickle Mary. And she mm -hmm. said, That's not the words. It's a long way to tickle Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play any instruments yourself, Charlie? Yeah, I played, yeah, I still play the piano. Well, we probably yeah. played in the Cabri band. Yeah, yeah. I was in the brass band, yeah, brass band. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I always played piano. Yeah, who who was your teacher? A fellow named... Uh, Mr Lincoln. Mr Lincoln in Avron Street, West Cabri. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, I had a... Is it Harry? Harry? Cassidy puts you under him? No, I think well, Mum got it somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, I had a ALC when I was 15. And uh, I didn't know it at the time. I should have used that when I was doing my intermediate. It, it would have been counted as a nuts mm. uh, subject. Yeah. Oh, right. So that would have gone it towards... It would have gone towards... It would have, it would have been a, a, a subject that I had. For a for a um, university degree. Yeah, to go, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what, that's what I should have done. Yeah. Instead of uh, just forgetting about it. Eh? Of course, then we we got married. I never had a piano. Yeah. So uh, for some years I didn't play. Mm. But uh, I, I play most days. Eh? What are some of the favourite songs that you like to play now? I usually, uh, I usually play Chopin. Mm -hmm. Body and Soul is his favourite number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Body and Soul, yeah. What's the... Uh, no, that one that I play all the time. And you can't recognise it. I often play it myself to someone, you know what that is? Nobody ever knows anyone. And it's really a... It's the way... Uh, I don't know whether you know many jazz pins, but there's a fellow named Art Taken. And he's one of the best uh, jazz pin pins of all time. And I've got him on that. I've got a, in my, in my uh, all of those listings, and um, he's on one of them. And Marty's, Marty's put all of those onto a iPod for me. Mm -hmm. I can just sit down and listen to it. But, yeah. but Marty's shut and I like classical, I like to make classical music. Yeah. What was your schooling like, and did you feel that it prepared you for working life? And uh, well, it was. Uh, Bit, uh, we were in the bad years of, of, of the war in those days. I was at school in 
And then what did you do after the war? Uh, well, I stayed, stayed with them and I, uh, I finished up in what they call buildings and property. And yeah. I used to go around all the munitions establishments and defence establishments in Australia when they wanted money. They say, um, uh, on, the, on the large scale, the uh, cabinet, cabinet would decide that we're going to make an FA, a hundred and eighteen plane. Mm-hmm. Well, then you had to convince um, Treasury officials that we wanted this and uh, what we wanted to do and how much money it would cost. And uh, I think something like that business, I must go to Canberra once a year to go through all the practice of what they wanted and didn't want. Mm. And talk to these defence officials. And they were smart, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And that was quite an interesting job. particularly Melbourne, that the buildings were, uh, that you were involved in, or interstate? Uh, I saw some shipping things in Sydney, where they did the submarines. You should have seen all the exposed wires of this up and down aisles, you know. And yeah. was, they, they broke a lot of regulations during the war, just to get things done, and get done quickly. Yeah. And the girls that worked in bunkers that filled ammunition, they had their, their um, 